Hello, and welcome to Kate and Lisa's Kitchen. Today we are making kale chips. Now, um, kale is an amazing superfood because dark leafy greens are super high in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, um, and lots of just important nutrients to support um, full body function. And something else that's important to know about kale is that it's high in oxalic acid, which can actually inhibit our digestion. So what we're doing here today is we're going to be cooking it, which reduces the amount of oxalic acid and allows us to absorb all of the minerals that are bountiful in kale. Um, we want to make sure when we're cooking kale, because kale comes in big leaves, um, and the easiest way um, before we cut kale into pieces like this or rip it into pieces is we fold it in half and we cut out the stem because the stem is quite dense and actually not that nice to be gnawing on um, when you're snacking. So just make sure that you cut the stems out of your kale and you can use any type of kale. Um, you can use black kale, you can, which is also called the glucinato kale. There's lots of different um, types of kale you can use here. We're, you, we're using a just, what is this kale? Dinosaur kale? Dinosaur kale. Basically it's, it's very big kale. Not just a clever name, I guess, dinosaur kale. <laughs> so, all you need other than kale to make delicious kale chips is um, a little bit of good quality oil. And today, Kate and I are going to be using sesame oil. And um, sesame is a food, has lots of nutritional benefits, but it's super high in calcium. So it's a great way to make sure you're getting your plant-based sources of calcium without feeling that you have to run to dairy. That's correct. And Kate is just going to throw on some sea salt there. Um, and after that, we're going to make sure that our oven is preheated to about 300 degrees. And then we are going to mix this all up. So after, um, so we throw the sesame oil in like this. And just what we want to do is just toss it with our hands to make sure that the oil is lightly covering all of the kale. Another great thing to add for flavor is gomasio. It's sesame seeds mixed with sea salt, and in this case, some garlic. So really great flavor, as well as the sesame seeds add more nutrient and protein. And you can really add anything to, to um, season your kale chips. You can add some cumin, you can add some cayenne, chili for a bit of kick. You can really add whatever you like. So then after you do that, all you need to do is lay the kale. As much as you can, you want to lay them out flat to make sure that all of the leaves are getting exposed to the heat. Um, so you'll just want to put this in the oven and bake it probably about 250 degrees for anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes depending on the texture that you want. Crispy or just sort of a little, you know. Delicious. Yes. Kate and Lisa's Kitchen. Enjoy.